Hi, Anthony here with a brief review on DP Animation Maker, a really cool animation app with which you can turn an image like this into something like this. As you can see, I've animated the waterfalls and added a few birds to the still image to give it a nice cool animation effect. Here's another still image of a beautiful looking fall landscape to which I've added some falling leaves animation effect. And I'll show you one more example. Here is a still image of an underwater creature to which I've added an underwater animation effect to give it a nice realistic look. And you will find many more animation effects in DP Animation Maker. So here is a DP Animation Maker, and initially you may find it a bit overwhelming because it is packed with a lot of functionality and animation effects like the animated objects like clouds, snow, rain, lightning, fire, and these are just a few of them. Animated brushes like clouds, fire, light, stream, water, and many others. Different types of airbrushes as well as a variety of particle systems and much more. I'll be creating an in-depth demo and walkthrough tutorial, but let me briefly show you how it works. Let me show you a very simple example first. So you start off by adding a background image. I'm going to choose this underwater image. And under effects, I'm going to choose underwater. As you can see, right off the bat, it creates a cool animation effect. You can apply other animations, but for this example, I'm going to go with this animation. You can then click the export button to export the animation and choose one of these options here. There are different types of video formats as well as the animated GIF. Let me show you another example with multiple animations. So I'm going to close out of here and then I'm going to click this new button. I won't save this. And again, I'll add an image. This time I'll go for this fall picture. I'm not going to add any effect here like I did in the previous example. Instead, I'll choose the animated objects from here. And in the leaf fall section, I'll choose leaf fall 1. You will see a preview here. And then you click this apply button to apply the selected animation. I'll also add the leaf fall 2. And then I'll close the panel. As you can see, the leaves are falling quite fast. And in this right side panel right here, under base properties, you can control the count, the speed, as well as the size of the leaves. So I'll reduce the speed to 20. And then I'll do the same for the other layer. As you can see, it's much slower now. Let's add another layer. And this time I'll choose the animated objects. And under the light and fire section, I'll choose light beams one. And then I'll click the apply selected animation. I'll just close this box. So first off, let me just move this somewhere around here. I can then change the color to yellow in the section right here. And then I'll change the rotation from 20 to 6 as well as the pulsation from 50 to 25. So that looks pretty good. And once you're happy with it, you can click the export button once again. Like I showed you earlier, 
These of course are just basic examples of the animations. I will be creating many more videos with examples of other cool animation effects. So overall, based on my experience using this animation software, I really like it. It does have a learning curve because of all its features and functionality. I'd like to see an option to export in MP4 format, but it does have WMV and GIF formats. Also, I like the fact that the software is being updated regularly. Well, hope you found this TP Animation Maker review useful. Check the link in the description section to try it out. Also, feel free to check my DP Animation Maker tutorials on my YouTube channel. And thanks for watching.